all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so yeah i got an update about this whole situation that took place where madison brooks life was taken a couple of months ago in um baton rouge louisiana if y'all seen the video before you know i appreciate y'all for coming back checking out the update and if you don't know what's going on i'm gonna let y'all live right now so basically long story short and everything is allegedly in this situation because we really just don't know and it's some new updated conflicting information that just came out about this situation as well but basically long story short it's a young lady who went to a bar that you know she wasn't old enough to drink in in the first place i mean uh the people that was around there they weren't supposed to be drinking the kids the dudes who allegedly took advantage of her and everything they weren't supposed to be drinking some of them wouldn't and uh yeah they got over the limit when it comes to drinking you know i think the normal the normal limit is like 1.5 or some shit like that if i'm not mistaken and her limit was around 3.1 and that was just to the point where you couldn't consent to anything that could possibly take place with you you know um but overall you know she ultimately ended up losing her life after allegedly being taken advantage of by these dudes and she got hit by a car after that like some final destination type stuff man you know it's a very sad situation man and they got a video popping out now about her arguing with some of the men in the vehicle and saying one of them was kind of funny you know uh because he didn't want to do something with her or something like that i don't know it's just all weirded out because it's so many conflicting stories it's like four co-defendants and it's one person that's not even able to speak about what took place so it's a very very you know controversial situation but overall man you know they've been indicted they got the last identity of one of the children he's a child and um well he's an adult now he just i think he's 17 now so yeah they consider you as an adult you know at the age of 17 but overall man we're gonna watch these updates and see what the hell is going on with this whole situation i want to say r.i.p to her one more time and i want to send my condolences out to the family no matter what happened i'm not gonna pick and choose or none of that shit she deserves the same respect that all the other people who pass away from things like this you know get so yeah man um and i'm saying this allegedly because these are well some some of them are young black men and i already know and a lot of us already know they get real rolled in a lot of situations where they don't do certain things the wrong way so i want to make sure that i'm being cautious with everything this is going to be more so of what i think and what could possibly be going on but i'm not going to just point the fingers because we really just don't know but if they did do this if they find out everything is true about them they're sad and they out of there and i hope that they can get the maximum extent of whatever because i don't believe in taking advantage of nobody if somebody don't want you to enter inside of them keep your ass over there man that's just how i feel about it you know but um uh, yeah even if they had some type of consent you got to start teaching these young supposedly you know young men to refrain from doing something with somebody where they're not just able to really you know cope with what's going on at the moment they can be under the influence or whatever the case may be but anyways man let's go ahead and get into this whole situation i'm gonna tell you what i feel about it during the video and after the video y'all already know what to do if y'all don't want to hear me talking during it and uh to all my supporters man i appreciate y'all and i want y'all to hit the like button for me and tell what y'all feel about everything in the comment section make sure i add out my social medias as well facebook snapchat instagram and uh yeah man make sure i hit the like button man i'm dropping consistent content and youtube kind of uh limiting the reach on some of my videos because of the type of content it is so i'll just need y'all to hit me out if y'all want to if y'all don't want to I ain't doing no tripping we're gonna get through it regardless so yeah it is what it is but i appreciate my support system all the way around let's get into it the jury will convene in Baton Rouge to decide whether to bring formal charges against three men accused of lsu student madison brooks she died last month after she was hit by a car on burbank drive chris nakamoto in the investigative unit here now with a look at that turning point and what the defense says about one piece of potential evidence Michael, the district attorney has said all along this is one case that would go before the grand jury to get formal charges in place. And we can tell you tonight it's happening this week. But defense attorneys are already looking beyond any possible indictments to a trial. And a short piece of video recorded that January night is likely to play a key role if that does take place. We do want to note this report addresses the subject of and includes content that some may find unsettling. Lawyers say this video was a crucial piece of evidence because you can hear Madison Brooks communicating with the suspects. I'm sorry that I said to you that. Dad. Yes, get, get out, get out. out. I'm Uber on my This is video of LSU student Maddie Brooks taken inside the vehicle on January 15th. I'm sorry that your feelings got hurt. When police say she was after a night of drinking at an off-campus bar. Defense lawyers released it to WBRZ. Tell me, 
How did you hit this girl in the car? Telling us the three men and one teenage minor in the car recorded it after two of them had sex with her. Brooks shortly after this video was taken. Another video previously seen shows Brooks leaving the Tigerland bar Reggie's headed for the suspect's car. Speaking negation. And one thing that is kind of, you know, a conflicting Mm, fact in this situation is that they saying that they did this and kicked her out of the vehicle but in that video you can hear her saying i'll just uber or something like that you know what i'm saying so that's one thing that people are saying that this is so you know damning in this situation right here but let's get back into it though conversations um using very vulgar language to the driver of the vehicle insulting the driver of the vehicle implying that the driver of the vehicle uh is not straight based on him not wanting to engage in certain activities with her. Um, again, it doesn't put anybody in the best light, but again, not being put in the best light isn't the same thing as rape. Prosecutors say Brooks was too drunk to it's consent, true. and they arrested the teenager and three young men on rape charges. Lab reports show her blood alcohol level was .319. Yeah. A lawyer representing Brooks' family recently told us there's no gray area in this case. You know, under Louisiana law, this was and we were deeply offended by blaming the victim um, in statements regarding uh, that had she not been hit, she wouldn't have complained of things. We thought that was deeply offensive, inappropriate, and just plain wrong. District Attorney Hiller Moore has echoed those mm -hmm. sentiments. It's just like we handle uh, murder cases. We don't have you know, murder victims that say I consented to being killed or shot at. Lawyers representing three of those charged with say their clients Ooh, maintain this their is, innocence. This is a tough one, man. Shit. It is important to note that the video we just showed you was not mentioned in any of the arrest reports for the individuals charged with Brooks rape. But defense attorneys do believe it was seen by detectives who investigated the case. District Attorney Hiller Moore could not comment on the secretive grand jury proceedings that are set for Wednesday. Michael. Okay. And another reason why they feel like they know what they're talking about is they have witnesses. Somebody that was inside of the vehicle is a willing participant to help the police with anything that they want to know. They've been telling. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to get out of something when you got somebody that was right there that's involved telling on you. You feel me? Even if you're lying, it's kind of hard to get out of anything because they're going to go with that person because they was with you. You feel me? But, yeah, he was saying that he wasn't a part of it. And, you know, he was saying that um, basically like shit, it was on them. And he was just there, you know. So yeah, they're gonna go with what he's saying. And if it's some, 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 how can I, well, yeah, evidence. Yeah, if it's some evidence that can kind of point to the direction of what he's saying, they're gonna ride with it. You feel me? And then you know, let's just keep it real. She's a white lady. You know what I'm saying? She was a young white lady, and they're definitely gonna take this a little bit more serious, and they're gonna take this case so much farther, in my opinion. You know, it's all alleged. I just gotta say what I got to say. But uh, yeah, man, they're going to ride with whatever's being told to them. But anyway, it go. Like he just said, you know, they got to treat it the same way they treat another case. And the people who pass away from other things, they don't have a chance to actually speak on what took place. And they got to go ahead and do it in this situation as well. They got a uh, witness. And I feel like that they can get whatever they want to get out of their witness. And they're going to go ahead and convict these dudes who actually are, you know, the, the culprits. Let's get back into it, though. Madison Brooks. Just days later in the hospital after being hit by that car on Burbank Drive, a new video obtained by WAFB shines a light on some of her last moments before that accident and before she was allegedly assaulted. This surveillance video was captured at around 1.50 in the morning on Sunday, January 15th. The footage points towards Reggie's bar. If you take a good look at the video, it first shows four people walk across the street towards a parking lot. Sources tell us the next person you see running across the screen there to meet up with the four guys is LSU student Madison Brooks. Ron Haley is representing two of the men facing the charges. The four gentlemen that have been charged were going to the car. And depending on how you read it, uh, we're followed by uh, the deceased uh, or the deceased would accompany them to the car. Uh, she willfully got into the car, said that her rides had left her and got in. Investigators say Madison Brooks left Reggie's bar that night with those four guys she had just met at the bar. Investigators have also said that Madison Brooks was too drunk to later give consent to having sex shortly after this video. In the video, Madison Brooks is seen walking with the four men across another parking lot. After that point in time, uh, there was consensual acts uh, done in that car with her 
and two other individuals at two separate times. Moments after the alleged assault, investigators say the men dropped her off. Shortly thereafter, she was hit by a car on Burbank Drive. This was not, hey, I'm going to take you out the car, put you out, you stumble onto Burbank, and, and this happens. Th that's not what happened in this case. Attorney Ron Haley says he has other video proof which could acquit his two clients of charges. Madison Brooks' alcohol level when she went to the hospital was nearly four times the legal limit. Meanwhile, because arrest documents say everyone involved in this encounter was drinking at Reggie's, the bar had its liquor license suspended. In a mm -hmm. statement from Reggie's, it says the owner of Reggie's has fully cooperated with the East Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Office, Louisiana State Police, and the East Baton Rouge... That's the main person to be blamed for all of this shit. Now, and what I mean by all of it, I'm talking about getting that girl over the limit and everything. The damn bar should be charged damn near for the same thing you know what i'm saying well not not right but y'all know what i'm talking about they should be they should be charged they should get some major charges for actually letting things like this continue to happen in their establishment man i know that they want to make money and things like that but overall man you got to follow the rules because if that didn't happen that wouldn't have happened you know what i'm saying and they would still be functioning right now with their license and everything but you know Anything after that, they can't control what other people do. But I feel like that this was a major contributing factor in the whole situation. And it shouldn't have happened at all, in my personal opinion. You know, they let these people slide like it ain't really nothing. I mean, they take their license away from them and things like that. But when you letting people go, I know certain places that done got charged for people passing away, leaving their bar being too intoxicated. So I feel like that it should be some more things that happen to them for this shit, man. For real, for real. Ain't no way in the hell they should be out here letting people... You know, coming there and get that lit and not eligible to be able to get that lit. It's a reason why they got age stipulations and shit like that on drinks and stuff like that, man. You got to be a certain age to be able to, you know, be classified to be able to maneuver under the influence. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man, drinking and driving and drinking and hanging with people that you really just not cool with like that, man, ain't a good idea at all. In no way, shape, form, or fashion. Let's get back into it, though. BC office since their first request for assistance in their ongoing investigations and will continue to do so. We look forward to meeting with state ATC and East Baton Rouge ABC officials as soon as possible to address their concerns and to ensure they have all the complete and accurate facts and all information they require to complete their investigation. But they also have to remember that it is not a right but a privilege to have a license. And when you do that, you are taking on the responsibility of obeying the law. While the local ABC board did not take any action tonight, Councilwoman Denise Amoroso says something needs to be done, including possibly increasing the fines, on bars for underage drinking. That would definitely be my recommendation. You know, when you're looking at a $500 fine, it's nothing, you know, compared to some of these bars and what some of these bars uh, make. You can see that full surveillance video right now on information our information this morning. The East Baton Rouge District Attorney's Office says the 17-year-old arrested for the rape of Madison Brooks has been formally indicted and will be tried as an adult. The teenager has been identified as Desmond Carter from Walker. Carter was indicted for first, first and third degree. Brooks died late last month after being hit by a car on Burbank Drive. Surveillance video showed Brooks leaving Reggie's bar in Tigerland with Desmond and three other men who also faced charges in the case. New at four, court documents show 17-year-old Desmond Carter has been formally charged with first degree and third degree of Madison Brooks and booked into the East Baton Rouge Parish prison on those charges. The grand jury chose not to indict Carter on charges of kidnapping. The case also involves three other suspects who have not gone before a grand jury. Mm. Officials arrested four suspects in connection with the incident that led to Brooks being killed by a vehicle. Well, man, R.P. to Madison, first off. I got to make sure that I let everybody know that I'm very, very sorry about what took place with her. And anybody who went through a situation like this, no matter the race, j j no matter what, if you went through something that was foul, man, I, I sympathize for you, man, real talk. So we're going to make that clear because I see some people be saying stuff about just weirdo shit. I shouldn't even get it no attention right now. Anyways, man, R.P. to her. I want to send my condolences out to the family. If these young guys didn't have anything to do with it, I think they've got to be on their side and they will be able to prevail. I think they will be able to prevail. But if not, if they did have something to do with it, man, I feel like justice will, you know, prevail in this situation, man. I don't want to point no fingers and blame certain people for certain things, but the board does need to be blamed. And, uh, yeah, man, and if they did do it, they need to be blamed as well. You know what I'm saying? 
for actually taking advantage of someone and somebody else should be, you know, held accountable for not showing them or teaching them. But overall, man, you know, at the same time, these kids, these people, they're totally different people when they're not in your eyesight. So you got to always remember that you can teach them to be the best children in the world and <laughs> shit, they go out here and do whatever the hell they want to do. But anyways, man, that's all I got to say about the whole situation, man. I want to know what everybody feel about this situation in the comment section. If you rock with me, man, comment below. And uh, yeah, man, that's all I got to say about the whole situation. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you like my commentary. If you don't like my commentary, I really don't give a damn. And I do appreciate everybody who made it to the end of this video. All right, I'll holler at y'all later.